the 10 step confidence formula. Why is this important? Because if you don't have confidence, you don't have confidence. So if you want confidence, here's how to do it. One, you got to know what you want to get confident at. You can't hit a target if you don't have one. So figure out what it is you want to get confident at. That's step one. Step two, gather courage. Oh, I know most people don't make it past step one. That's why we don't get confident at things because we don't, we can't get past step two, which is to gather courage. But here's a little tip on how to gather courage. Think back to your life to some point where you accomplished something or achieved something that you're really proud of. None of us have got this far without being proud of something. It can be something really small. It doesn't even matter what it is, but you think back to that moment and you think about, yeah, I did that. And yeah, I am proud about that. If you can get back to that feeling, it will help you get through this step to the next step, which is three, start. We can't get more confident until we actually start. Four, practice. Practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes practice. No one starts out being perfect. They just start. Five, here's a great one. Fail, expect to fail. Almost no one was perfect or really masterful at anything they did. Six, reevaluate. So when you're trying to accomplish something and get better at it, along the way as you're practicing, evaluate what's working and what's not working. And if you don't know what's not working, change anything. Just change one thing and try it again. And eventually you will learn what works and what doesn't. Seven, modify. So this is part of the making it, making it your own. Another example of this would be when I was, I used to sell real estate and I would make a hundred calls a day. Um, my goal was call a hundred or until I got one, which would meant an appointment. And at first I so sucked at it. And then I went and I learned from people who were already successful, whether they were in my city or, you know, gurus of the nation. And I tried some of the scripts that they gave me and some of it felt right and some of it didn't, but through a lot of practice, which is the next step, again, try again and again and again and again. So step number eight is trying again. I got better and better at it until I found the words that worked well for me and I became a top salesperson. So it can be done. And number nine, get good at it, get great at it. So don't stop when you're just good enough. Keep going, get masterful at it. It feels really good when you really accomplish something worthwhile. Number 10 might be the most important thing on building confidence. And this is as soon as you get really great at something, find something new, find a new challenge because the more things that we get really good at and really confident at, that confidence automatically translates into anything new that we do.